So let's have some fun and taking a look at what we can do with some of these mates. Um, 2013, we had the ability to do smart mates, and I could drag this guy around, hit the Alt key just one time, and you'll see I got a little paper clip, and that's smart mate mode. Well, the problem is once we started moving around some of these little circular objects and stuff, you can see it tried to mate to everything that I kind of dragged around. So let me go ahead and undo that. I'm going to go into my options, and I'm going to search for a new option called smart mate sensitivity. Now right now it's turned to off, which will be the default setting for uh, 2012 and 2013. I'm going to go ahead and drag it and make it just a little bit slower. And what that's going to do is now when I drag, let me hit Alt, is I can go real fast and it won't try to mate over anything. Now if I hover for a minute, then you'll see it'll try and mate itself. So it's kind of nice as I can get full flavor of what I want when I need it. So that looks pretty good. Still have some uh, other degrees of freedom that are still open. So let's keep on the subject of smart mates. Let's go ahead and go into uh, smart mates for the most part were hidden underneath the move command. So push on smart mate, double click on the face you want to select, and then the face you want to mate it to, and you see it automatically does like a concentric mate in this case. Uh, we do now have an option for lock rotation. So now I don't have to add an angle relationship or parallel or perpendicular to kind of how's that guy where he doesn't move anymore. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Um, the nice thing about having smart mates is of course if I select on a face, there we go, I can rotate around within the, uh, the move. So I go ahead and select on that face, automatically makes a coincident relationship, and there we go. Now for the most part, the smart mates was actually hidden inside of course the move component dialog box. Uh, that's actually changed in 2014. So on the search command up here, I'm going to just go ahead and type in smart. And you'll notice that we have an option for smart mates. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and just drop that tool button out there on the uh, assembly ribbon. So you'll notice that once I select on there, it actually does take me into pretty much like the move command. So I'll go ahead and place this guy where he belongs. Lock the rotation. rotate around a little bit, select on that face, and make that coincident. Go ahead and OK check out of there. And I've still got one uh, degree of freedom. I want to put this uh, to where this guy is supposed to be parallel up there. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and just use the regular mate con relationship here. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select on a, a face and an edge. And you'll notice what happened is usually you'll get a coincident relationship with a little error saying, hey, those guys can't be coincident. Well, now what's happening is if that fails, it automatically defaults to a parallel relationship. So that's exactly what I wanted. I can just hit OK, and I'm good to go. Now, before I go, you'll notice that there's a little push pin up here on the dialog box. So you can select it to actually keep this up. Or if I don't select it, then, of course, it will go away on the first checkbox. So let's go ahead and keep on mating. I'm going to go ahead and select on these two guys. And you'll notice I got an option for the mate right there. That's been there. But something new is when I select an axis and a cylindrical face, it actually defaults to a concentric mate, which makes sense. So enough with the uh, smart mates and dialog boxes. Let's go dialog list. If I select on the two cylindrical faces that I want to mate, and I'll go ahead and put on a coincident relationship. So let's keep going with this. We'll go ahead and just select on these two guys. Make those concentric. Click on that face, rotate around. Click on that face.
So enough with the dialog boxes. Let's go dialog dialog less. So if I'm gonna I'm gonna hit X to turn on my little face filter, and if I just select on two faces, you'll notice a little drop down. And I can make coincident right there. So it makes it easy if I'm selecting on what I need. We'll make that concentric, and pretty much do the same thing here. Select on these two faces. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my face filter on this one. Uh, I've got draft on this little part, so we'll hold down control, pick that point, and we'll make those coincident. Puts really nicely into place. So that makes it pretty quick and fast. Let's talk about some other makes. So here I have a couple spheres. Now we've been able to do a tangent to tangent on a sphere and a, the inside of a sphere. So that seems to work out pretty well. But let's look at some other ways we can do it. We can now put spheres. So we can quickly select on the sphere, hold down control, select on this spline, make a tangent relationship there. So it has to stay along it. We can also do it between a sphere and a non-planar surface. So this is a tangent where it's a partial ellipse to a conic. We can also do it to a toroid. And we can even do it to an actual path, 3D sketch path. So we'll have to go into the mate command to do that one. But we'll go ahead and just accept tangent. And we're good to go. So pretty much any practicality of mates you'd want with tangents and spheres, uh, we can do it. So let's take a look at one more. So let's dig down into uh, slot mates. For the most part, straight slots have to be parallel. If it's an arced slot, then the uh, edges have to be concentric. So let's play with this. I'm going to the mate constraint and I'm just going to select on the outside cylindrical face of that and one of the inside faces of that. Now it's going to default to tangent so you have to go look under the advanced mates I mean mechanical mates and click on slot. So it's pretty self-explanatory if you want the slot or the bolt in this case to be free you can just leave it at that and then I can drag it around and it stays in the slot and is free to move. Now we can change some of the options there. So I'm going to go look at the uh, the mates and then here we can edit the feature of the mate. And I'm going to change this to a uh, centered in slot. So you'll notice that it actually moves to the center of the slot. Uh, we can also tell it a distance along the slot. So I just want 10 millimeters from one edge or we can flip it to the other side. And then we can, of course, also do the uh, percentage along the slot, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to leave it in center and slot. Hit OK. So now it is fully constrained. If I try and drag it, it can't move other than its rotation. But this doesn't just have to be a bolt. Let's go on into our slot. And I'll select the inside cylindrical face of the washer, and again that face. And we get some of the same options that we do with the original. So it doesn't just have to be these shapes, we can also do an axis. And this one I'm going to leave free. We'll go ahead and say OK. And you'll notice that when I drag this guy around, he actually stays inside the slot. So it's using the outside extents of that to keep him where he should be. Now it doesn't just have to be this. But we can also do slots to slots. So if I pick on the inside face, inside face, go ahead and just say OK. You can see that this stays within the extents of the slot. Pretty slick. Over here I've got a radial, pretty much use the same thing. You'll notice it kind of stops at the end of the slots when they end. And in fact, what I have in here, if I do a shift tab, is I have my little bolt. So you can see how it works and functions as I drag that around. We can even do a slot in the shaft. And he stays constrained. Now that saves you a ton of time. I don't have to create any work planes or anything like that. The only thing it doesn't work in is any slot that's going to be curved, if it has a little zigzag, or if it's not finished out. So with all these new tools in your assemblies, hope you enjoy the new mates.